Hello. We're back in downtown and I'm ready to get to know another family. So without further ado, let's just randomize the next one. And uh, now we have 15 families left of the ones that I want to start with. So I'm bringing up random.org and generating one between uh, 1 and 15. Okay, so it's the 13th family this time. So let's see. Okay, so we have the gray family. Yeah, these are brothers, I am pretty sure. Okay, so I am, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I want to move them into one of these houses as well, but let's pick a new one this time. I'm trying to remember the layout. I am sure that this, this one is the one at the top floor with the split up into two apartments. So those are too small for these three. But um, yeah, the teenager is going to move to college very soon. So he's not going to stay. So I really need an apartment with two rooms. I mean, I could have three rooms and then they could remake that room into something else <laughs> as well. This one has few more rooms in the apartments. I think I'm going to go with this one. And yeah, let's uh, let's try it out. So here we are at the house and uh, I realized that I forgot to give them money because they have a fantastic <laughs> fund of one <laughs> simoleon right now, but it's no biggie. I can uh, actually use the family funds sheet in the lot as well. I'm pretty sure. Um, the important thing is that it can't be two families with the same last name in the neighborhood because then you don't know which family will get the money with the family funds sheet. So, but I can do it now because I know that I've only named um, one family gray. And I'm going to give them 10,000. Yeah, it worked. Um, because, yeah, we have two adults here and I'm pretty sure that they can have... Um, gotten some money up till this point even though they should have loans as well right so let's take a look at the uh, available apartments here so i know that i won't be going with either of these these are too small but it could be this one it has two bedrooms or this one it also has well, it, technically it has three bedrooms. But then once the little brother moves out, if they pick this one, um, they could remake this room into something else. It's an idea. I think that suits better, actually. So I'm going to go with the bottom apartment. Okay, so it's uh, 1,700 is quite a lot. This is not as much. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go with this one. Okay, nice. So I'm bringing out the objects I need. All right, good. So let's start out with uh, yeah this seems so we have dominic ray and nolan and i don't think nolan is related to john smith no they are just related to one another all right so starting with uh, dominic then pretty sure it's one of the sims with uh, a broken face that i Fixed in CMP. Traits. Nolan. He is straight. And from the start he had the tinkering hobby. I'm randomizing that once. Uh, okay, he still has tinkering. Alright. Seems like this randomized thing isn't um, always doing it <laughs> for some reason. Same thing happened last time. But okay. I'm writing that down. Oh wait, Nolan was the teen. Sorry, my bad. Uh, but I can write that down for him anyway. His name was actually Dominic. All right, so <laughs> let's do it right this time. Dominic. 
He's also straight. He started with the games hobby. And now he has music. All right, so now it changed. That's good. And then finally, Ray is also straight. And he started with the sports hobby. And he has sports again. Now, okay. All right, and then I'm going back to Dominic. His uh, aspiration is romance. I'm gonna randomize his secondary aspiration with my um, D6 die. So I got the number two. So starting here, I'm going clockwise, one, two. So that is popularity. Then I'm giving him all the need benefits. And writing down in my spreadsheet that it was Dominic <laughs> who has a secondary uh, popularity. Right, then I'm gonna do that same thing with Ray. So he started out with a knowledge aspiration. Got number five. So one, two, three, four, five. Pleasure. And I'm writing that down. Great. And now since they have secondary aspiration, I'm going to regenerate the lifetime wants. So his was to become Hall of Famer from the start. I'm re-rolling it once. And now it's <laughs> okay, now it's woohoo with 20 different sims. All right. And then we have Ray. He started with become chief of staff. And now he wants to have 50 dream dates. Right. Okie dokie. And then let's check in on their um, current careers. Uh, <laughs> okay, so he is in the criminal career from the start. Okay. And he is in the science career. Mm. And he is also in the science career. So, so far we've had quite a few sims in the science career, actually, which is interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna let Nolan keep his job. But I'm not sure about the others. So I'm taking a look at his interests. Hmm. I could go with criminal, but I, I don't feel like starting out with that career, I don't think. One idea could be to just make them unemployed and then um, see what career options pop up. But then again, I would like them to have majors as well. It might help me a bit if I decide on their ages, because I don't think I want them to be twins. No. So one of them should be the older one. So I'm going to roll a die to decide um, if it is one to three. It's going to be Dominic, who's the oldest. And if it's going to be four to six, it's Ray, who's the eldest. Okay, so I got the six. So it's uh, Ray, who's older. And then I'm thinking that uh, Dominic can be the 35 standard days <laughs> left. <laughs> and then Ray can be a few days slash years older. Yeah, let's make him five days older then. He's very active and playful. Don't know if that necessarily helps me. Their skills are good from the start, by the way, so they can stay. Yeah, I think that... Let's start by giving them all cell phones. And then he can call and quit his job. And he can also call and quit his job. So he has a clean slate. And he also has a clean slate. All right. The question is how I want to do it with the majors. I could randomize it in that case. That might be interesting. That might actually also help me decide what career to pursue as well. So let's see. How many options do we have? Okay, so it's 11 options. So I can uh, bring up random.org again. And I can generate two. One between 11. So the first one is going to be the elder uh, sons, <laughs> the elder brothers, Ray. And the second one is going to be the younger brothers. So get numbers. Okay, so eight and five. So Ray is going to have the eighth major. And I'm always sort of starting with this and going this way for some reason. 
I don't know why, but that's just sort of how I think about this. So I'm gonna go... Okay, he got drama and that is actually interesting because his hobby is sports and drama is the only major where he can um, go into the athletic career. So that is uh, interesting. So Ray has a major drama. All right. And then uh, the second one is number five. Okay. Psychology. Seems like that could suit as well in some way. Let me bring up this again. So psychology, then it could go into law, education, intelligence, business, law enforcement and paranormal. Law enforcement is a bit interesting, honestly, because he was from the start a burglar. He was in the criminal career and he was very interested in crime. That could be a thing. And then let's also take a look at the drama major. So, I mean, it could be also entertainment, dance, politics and show business. So that's also <laughs> interesting. Let's see what the career options they have. Yeah, I think that was it for that. And then let's also set the season to season four. It's going to be spring. We have five days left. We can remove this. Right, and then um, let's go ahead with the makeovers then. All right, so he has this very short hairstyle. That honestly doesn't look too bad. Is there one that I would like him to have more than this? Could go with this again. No, I think let's go with this one. Yeah. Let's take a look at his eyebrows. Yeah, I think I'm going with those. You can have some stubble. Yeah, I think that works. And then clothing. So he had a gray long sleeve shirt and uh, jeans. So that's pretty easy. Yeah, that looks good, I think. Just going with this. I don't think I've ever used this because normally the hair pokes out of the hat. But I mean, this might be the perfect opportunity to <laughs> actually use them. Yeah, I think those are the colors I have to choose from. Yeah, let's go with this one. All right. Yeah, let's just change into everyday for now. And we're continuing with Dominic. So he had the same hair as his brother, but I think that he might have something um, different. I think I might go with this. I wasn't feeling the long hairs on him really. I think this might be cool. Right. And what glasses should we have? That could work, but now I'm not sure about the hair anymore. <laughs> yeah, let's go with this instead, I think. Yeah. Giving him some lighter stubble. Yeah, let's try this. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I think that works. And then let's go with clothes. So he had this really, you know, neon <laughs> outfit on. So something um, loud and obnoxious, if I can find it.
I mean, this could work. <laughs> yeah, it could. Let's see what I can find to match with that. Yeah, I think that could work. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna do it. No, this is tempting. <laughs> but I don't think so, though. <laughs> yeah, this is perfect. <laughs> right, you can change back into your everyday. And then let's finish with Nolan. So he's got this long swoopy hair. Might go with that. Yeah, let's try this. And just some light stubble, yeah. Yeah, I think that will work. So let's try it. So we had a green puffer jacket on. This could be a good idea. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. And then he needs pants. Yeah, I think that could work. Okay, so there we have them with their makeovers done. Oh, almost done, that is. I just realized I also need to give the grown-ups body hair. Just in case the game wants to crash, I'm gonna <laughs> just save here. And yeah, I think they can change into their uh, swimsuit for now. Right, so, hmm. I think that they both can have set one. I think that that's gonna fit them. Yeah, I think that works. Good, so you can change back into your everyday. Nice. And then let's think about funds. Hmm, I think maybe they can take out 5,000 each in loans. Maybe that's a good idea. Okay, good. And then we can change. So you also take out a loan. Yeah, so I think that the next step now is to furnish the apartment and hopefully this will be enough money. I think it will be. <laughs> so let's see. So this apartment was a bit bigger than um, the other ones I've furnished so far. And um, these three rooms that were in it had to become one bedroom each for the guys. So I added carpet into all of them and uh, recolored the walls into something more fitting for them and um, the first room I furnished was uh, for the middle brother and I did that bed trick that I've been talking about <laughs> this last recent videos with pushing in the bed frame into the wall which works because I work with the walls up and uh, yeah of course I used small bedside tables as well so that I could scoot them also into the wall Otherwise, the Sims have a difficult time getting into the bed. So these matching IKEA uh, bedside tables works very well together with the, the IKEA bed. And of course, also the uh, IKEA dresser suited this as well, because it's very slim and could squeeze into that um, yeah, very slim um, um, space. And uh, yeah, working with um, the snapping to grid off 
helps things a lot <laughs> for furnishing uh, very cramped rooms like this and also squeezing in a lot of things. Speaking of that, uh, of course I wanted to um, have something for his hobby as well. So I added in a, an instrument and I went for a bass for him. For some reason I, I decided that that was um, what suited best. I was also considering a guitar because I, I think that would have worked as well. But uh, yeah, it became the bass. And uh, yeah, this uh, wall became a sort of feature wall with uh, lots of posters and stuff. <laughs> And uh, yeah, mixing and matching this is uh, always fun and uh, also a bit difficult because some of them want to sort of blend together with the others. <laughs> so I had to um, move them around a bit to get them to work. But I like the combination of those very bright red colors with the black wallpaper. Really look nice, I think. Then the eldest brother had this room, a bit lighter walls, but... Um, I felt like his style would be more like uh, streamlined, masculine, um, cold colors or like, I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, he's into sports anyway. So I gave him some sports decoration stuff to put on the wall and uh, yeah, mix and matched with some dark curtains. And of course they need to have uh, also blinds because uh, yeah, they live in the city and um, well, even though it's a bit fenced in behind the house, um, the neighbors could like hang out back there and <laughs> it wouldn't be so nice to just have full insight into the, the apartment. So blinds it is. And then I moved on to the youngest brother's room and this had um, a very green theme <laughs> for him. But I think it suited him pretty well, actually. His hobby is tinkering. So that was uh, a lot of the theme that I went with here. And I don't think he's particularly uh, neat, so I added some bunched up covers <laughs> like this. Made it look nice. And I really like this sort of... Um, um, well, the bed that looks a bit like a sofa. It's very interesting. It gives a completely different vibe than uh, yeah, the, the normal beds. This bedside table is a bit uh, strange because it st stands out so far from the wall. <laughs> so I uh, turned off the snapping to squeeze it in closer to the wall. And I went ahead and put in a desk in here. Um, and that made the curtains cut through. So <laughs> I exchanged them for the shorter ones. And yeah, added in some uh, tinkering stuff here as well. Um, painting of a car. <laughs> I think that this guy is going to be into cars. So... That's what I went with. I started to furnish the um, bathroom and here is when I realized that the money had run out. <laughs> Ironically enough, I had thought that I had plenty of money to work with, but uh, yeah, the size of this apartment really, really made a difference, it appears, because the money ran out quickly. <laughs> I don't know if it was uh, maybe the um, base or something that was very expensive, but... Uh, <laughs> I had them take out uh, extra loans for 2,500 simoleons each, so I had 5,000 more to work with. And starting out, I uh, thought that I wanted the kitchen in this sort of cubby corner. And it didn't really work perfectly with the window, because the window is pretty low. So uh, that's one of my pet peeves when you see something poking out of the bottom of the window from the outside and uh, something inside cuts it off. <laughs> um, so I always try to avoid doing that. And yeah, I couldn't really make this kitchen make sense there and also figure out where to put the kitchen table. So I ended up putting it in this sort of wide uh, corridor part of the room. And then I could uh, try to work out with the dining table. I wanted to have a pretty big one that like that was nice. Uh, I can really see these guys inviting a lot of friends over. So I went with a uh, three tile one and um, yeah, put it into sort of the middle of the room. And um, I left the corners of the table without chairs for now, but it's possible to add those in at a later time as well, I think it could work. And that wall looked very empty, so <laughs> I attempted to put in uh, more counters, but yeah, that didn't look good. So that idea. 
Uh, and then I started working on the appliances part of this. I wanted to have uh, a microwave, so I uh, considered putting it onto the uh, fridge, but no, that didn't really look good. Um, so then I decided to instead squeeze two different appliances onto the same uh, counter. What's important uh, if you want to do that is to put a uh, surface blocker onto the actual counter, because otherwise I, I'm assuming at least that they will use the counter normally to like cook dinner on, <laughs> and that will look really weird. So uh, yeah, that's what I did. I finished up with the bathroom because I had sort of interrupted myself midway through that <laughs> when their money ran out and uh, decided to put in a uh, sort of decorative table in between here to fill out the space a bit, make it look more homey. Some paintings, it's always nice. And then I had um, a little over 1000 left to work with, which was really not a lot. <laughs> so um, yeah, I had to improvise here with the uh, living room space. I could squeeze in a um, Maxis sofa with a nice recolor. And um, yeah, basically just the table and a uh, a TV <laughs> and then a um, rug that I got practically for free and then I had like 200 simoleons left but I still wanted to have um, a stereo for them so they could play music and uh, I also realized that I didn't have a bookshelf so I needed to add in um, books as well for them so the slots on this table is a bit awkward because as you can see they sit very far out to the sides so I just put some small clutter onto those slots and then added uh, the other things with OMSPs, trying to match the, the height, which was a little bit wonky, but uh, <laughs> I think I managed it in the end with this. And uh, to get some color in as well, I decided to put in a plant. It's always nice. All right, so I think that this is just about <laughs> what I can do for now. Their money ran out and I don't really want to take out more loans for them. I think it's better that these guys get jobs and then eventually I can get them a car uh, and then let's see what happens. But uh, let's start with setting the hour to 8 so that the school bus arrives. Looks like these guys are starting to argue. Okay, for some reason the school bus didn't arrive, but I guess I'm gonna have him walk to school then. Okay, and well, let's see what careers I can get for these guys. So let's start with uh, Ray, a full-time job. Okay, so this is a custom career that I'm using for my church, <laughs> so he's not gonna become a priest. Hmm, education. Could work. Intelligence career could work. Let's look again. A lounge singer. No. And <laughs> a criminal. It's not going to be a criminal. Out of those options, I think... Yeah, I think that the education career is the best one out of those options. So uh, let's go with that for now, but uh, I'm sure he's gonna want to find something else eventually. Okay, so he's a substitute teacher. I'm gonna write that down. Right, so he needs to actually hurry to work then. He's not gonna be able to get promoted because he's lacking both, both uh, a charisma skill and uh, friends. <laughs> oh no, I don't want you to... Um, wear that change into your everyday you can have a job outfit stoppinator good and then you can go to work and dominic you need to also find a job oh yeah did i give you the yes i did okay good but not nolan i think no he needs that Right, so let's see what job you want then. I mean, both intelligence and uh, entertainment could work for him, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he could have had a higher position in the education career, but no. Nah. 
Don't think so. It's gonna be level four in that case in the intelligence career. It's a surveillance operator. That could work. Oh, he would only be a mime in the entertainment career, actually. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with intelligence in that case. Yeah, all right then. He's also missing some skills and he works um, late. Well, very interesting. Uh, I think I'm gonna start with having him eat some breakfast then because he's really hungry. So I suppose this brother's made it to the city to make it big or something. <laughs> Start up a new life, um, possibly coming from a smaller town originally. It's interesting though that they would bring their uh, younger brother. Oh yeah, speaking of him, um, probably don't want him to be this young either, since he has older brothers who's already adults. So I think I'm gonna age him a bit as well. Then he has the, the four days left that I've gone with previously. Actually, let's eat another sandwich. It's possible that uh, Dominic wants to become a band member or, or something. <laughs> if he's going to pursue the music thing. I mean, for sure he wants to party and have fun anyway. A psychology major. I mean, that tells me that he uh, enjoys people. He enjoys um, getting to know them and understanding them and meeting different kinds of people. His secondary aspiration is also popularity. He really wants to get out uh, and meet a lot of people and make connections and yeah, party and have fun and... <laughs> Those kinds of things, for sure. Let's clean that up, put away the leftovers. And then maybe let's see if we can meet any of his neighbors. Looks like none of them are. Oh, here we have one. So here you have someone you can get to know, at least. So let's see if they get along. Well, no. <laughs> Not at first, anyway. Let's try again. Yeah, now it works better. That's good. I mean, it looks like they're talking about moving in, making friends and meeting people in town. So maybe Ren is also new in town. And it uh, looks like he wants to <laughs> go out and meet um, someone to kiss as well. Okay, interesting. So that was one of the neighbors. Do we have more of them here? Let's see if we can uh, introduce to the Strattons here. Yeah, here we have Renaud. Okay, so... Almost time for his carpool. They get, did get along, but now he's leaving the apartment, so I don't know what's up. Can try. Okay, do we have a Langrak family here? That's interesting. Familiar names. Oh, she's out there. Let's see if we uh, can meet her. Or if she maybe is walking off the lot. No, she just walked to the... Um, Whatever this is called, <laughs> the mailbox. Oh, looks like all of them were um, asked to go and pay their rent, I think it was. Okay, I mean, he has slight chemistry with her. Like Nolan is taking drum lessons at school. <laughs> all right. He's trying to talk about crime with... Uh, his neighbors, but it seems like they're not really into it, so. 
entertained by Renaud anyway. I mean, so far it seems to be Renaud he's getting along the best with, so maybe that's a potential friendship. Oh, oh, she said the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, but he's leaving for work now, I think. So let's see what the outfit he's wearing. No, you don't need to wear that. I can give you a job outfit stopinator as well. Change back into your everyday. And you can go to work. Okay, so Nolan brought home uh, Rose Miller as well from school. He also rolled a wand for uh, buying an MP3 player, but uh, sadly, I don't think that we really can afford it. <laughs> so <laughs> I think you're gonna have to um, hold off on that. Oh, she, he's not attracted to her at all, it looks like. Or, well, they are not attracted to each other. Oh, he's really unattracted to her. That's, I see. <laughs> I think he's the second guy who is unattracted to her. Yeah, but I think that he's going to say goodbye to her. I don't really want to play too much with them before I get to know them. There we go. And he really needs to do something fun. Mm, right. I was going to... <laughs> Buy a remote control car for him. Um, but I don't know if they can actually afford it. Oh yeah, they can actually. That's good. Okay then, so let's uh, let's go. I think he's going to leave for work soon, right? Yeah. I don't know why I get those vibes, but I feel like he's going to be a car enthusiast <laughs> growing up. Gonna want sports cars and things like that. That's the, the vibe I'm getting. All right, so here we have Ray home, I think. And we got the chance card for Dominic. Dominic is on a week-long surveillance job, listening in on several discreet meetings occurring on the luxury liner Seaward Bound. The boat is owned by known criminal mastermind Pop Pop Pauly. When Pop incriminates not only himself, but his other meeting mates, Dominic needs to make a quick decision. Does he rush into the boat to make some quick arrests, or play it by the book and wait for backup? No, I think that he seems like a little bit of a reckless guy, <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, I think he would rush in. Making an executive decision. Dominic takes his team onto the boat to make the arrests before the window of opportunity closes. The criminals are caught off guard, and Dominic's small team is able to arrest all of them without any fuss. His quick decision-making is praised by the entire department, and Dominic is offered a promotion to recognizance communicator, where he'll have to make such important decisions on a daily basis. Cool. <laughs> so I think he, he got promoted, right? He should be home with the promotion. That was fast. Oh yeah, the street light is <laughs> messing things up again. Nice. Hmm. Nice. So he, yeah, they got some money now. That's good. And he was promoted to level five. Well, that went well. Better than expected. Right, so the spreadsheet is updated. And, well, I guess they have uh, more of the day home together then. So, yeah, Ray probably wants to meet his neighbors, at least. And Dominic needs to freshen up, I think. I mean, with that money, they can uh, get the car, right? Oh. Maybe they can't. It's uh, <laughs> pretty expensive. I mean, they could technically get this. But uh, <laughs> not sure if I want that. I mean, they need to start somewhere. They can have that car. Um, but I think that Dominic would be too ashamed to drive around in it. So I think that uh, Ray is going to take it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go with that. All right. Well, 
is getting tired. Maybe let's uh, make some coffee. Yeah, okay, nice. Dominic has found his way into his bedroom with the base on his own. Nice. That was actually what I wanted him to do, so he can keep that up. And uh, Ray can freshen up instead. Yeah, all three of them are pretty tired, so I think I'm going to give them a bit of an energy boost. For it to be a bit more realistic. Okay, so let's see. Maybe they have some people online. Yeah, let's chat with some people here. Oh, we have Michael Tan. <laughs> Looks like Ray is the one with the most cooking skills. So I think he's normally the person who cooks their meals. It looks like uh, Dominic has a few as well. Maybe they share. Yeah, none of them have very much in the cuisine hobby. So I don't think they really enjoy cooking. None of them. I mean, Nolan is the one with the most points in um, food interest, but yeah. I think he's being taken care of and looked after <laughs> by his brothers, so. All right, so now he's met some more people. And he wants to do something sports related. I mean, they could go outside and... Um, Throw a ball around. Maybe if they go here. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> yeah, okay. That didn't really do much. They can go jogging. Maybe, um, maybe they should just wait until Nolan is back and then they can go out jogging together. That might be interesting. So maybe go back here. Oh, Nolan wants to bring uh, home Ash Wilson from work. Yes, that's a great idea. But then that means that um, he's not going to want to uh, go with them jogging. <laughs> because he's got a friend over. So, yeah, let's just have um, Ray and Dominic go then. Yeah, and um, you can inter interac interact with Ash. Apparently Ash wanted to um, admire him, but uh, Nolan wasn't into that at all. <laughs> all right, let's see if they can chat instead. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> that didn't go well. Um, maybe let's have you go inside and watch TV and maybe you can uh, join him. Yeah, I think that they have quite a bit in common, except for their part-time job. They're both knowledge sims. Don't seem to have very many interests in common, though, because they keep, um, <laughs> keep getting negative interactions. Okay, they're back from the jogging round. Oh, and now uh, Dominic is really, really hungry. And also Ray, actually, so... Um, Wants to have dinner, but I think it's better that you serve dinner then. Yeah, and he's just sitting down. Um, maybe you want to chat with some people now. While you wait for dinner. No, they're still not getting along. <laughs> you need to try to find the common interest, guys. Yeah, they're going to sit down to eat now. Should interrupt this because he needs to eat pretty desperately. Just stuck like talking about the weather. That's uh, <laughs> a very dry conversation topic. Yeah, it looks like he needs some more coffee. So let's drink that. 
Yeah, and he's pretty active, so he stopped eating on his own. Can clean up that those dishes. I think Dominic's gonna need another plate, right? Yep. Oh, are you gonna sit down and read a sci-fi book and become stinky again? That's nice. <laughs> Have another hamburger. I think that Ray is gonna want to help um, Nolan out with his homework once he has had his coffee. Oh, oh, you're using the bathroom sink. Okay. Yes, this one was occupied. Yeah, I think you can go ahead and say goodbye to Ash. Yeah, he's super tired. So I don't think I'm going to force him to be up any longer. He can actually go to bed. So I get the feeling that um, Ray has really sort of taken on the parent role in this household. He's the one who's guiding his younger brothers and um, yeah, takes on the responsibility and uh, sort of guides the others. Whereas um, Dominic is more doing what, whatever he wants, <laughs> following his heart, if that makes sense. And then Nolan is the baby, the one who's being pampered. <laughs> you can go ahead and play a bit more with the car and you can freshen up. And then head to bed. Okay, we have some um, more people here now. We have Lindsay. I think actually, uh, Ray, you can uh, go ahead and chat with Lindsay before you go to bed. Oh, he already knows that he has two bolts with her apparently. So, <laughs> All right. Let's go to sleep. And I think Nolan, you can also go ahead and go to sleep. Right, so I'm saving and let's continue another day. Oh, apparently uh, Dominic woke up early because he needs to use the bathroom. <laughs> so he's going to do that. But he actually could sleep in since he um, yeah, starts work so late. So I think that he's just going to use the loo and then go back to sleep. Doesn't really make sense for him to be up this early. <laughs> I don't feel like he's the kind of person who would wake up with the sun. I'm just dropping down the energy a bit so I can send him back to sleep. And I do use a mod that makes everybody able to sleep in if they want. So he's going to remain in bed even if his uh, energy is full. Maybe. <laughs> Sometimes they wake up early anyway, but I think it's depending on personality. Right, but I do want Ray to go up early though, because I want him to look what jobs are available. Gamer, I don't think so. Not gamer. Ooh, there's a position as a starter in the athletic career. Now that's very interesting for him. I think I might might go with that, but I'm just going to keep looking to see what else he can choose from. No, but there's law enforcement, though. And slacker. Very interesting. I might have a look around for Dominic as well, then, just in case. Show business as commercial actor. He did take the drama major. No... I think athletic is too perfect for him. So I'm going to take that one. Nice. So he has, actually has the day off today then. So I need to change that in the spreadsheet. All right, that makes sense then. Um, he's going to need a lot of body, body skill. I think possibly when Nolan has moved out... He can, uh, they can turn this room into a sort of mixed office and gym room, <laughs> possibly. And then he could have a punching bag maybe in here. That could work. Yeah, let's uh, have you serve some breakfast. You can have a shower. 
Oh, he actually wants to befriend Renaud now. I'm gonna lock that in because they did get along pretty well. But they both want to uh, meet someone to fall in love with. I mean, he has a romantic interest here, <laughs> Lindsay. They could get along, actually. But I'm gonna hold off until I've moved in all of the families before I start matchmaking. <laughs> Okay, so you can go ahead and make your bed and recycle this. Oh yeah, speaking of that, I actually never put in any um, bedside lights. Maybe I should do that. <laughs> then I don't need the spotlights in the roof. We're starting the morning strong with bacon and eggs. Talking about crime. <laughs> Apparently. When do you start now? Oh right, you, you had the day off. Right, I already forgot. Looks like you could have another plate. I think that Ray might want to go out jogging the first he does. He can go alone. Dominic is still sleeping. I think we're just gonna wait for uh, Ray to come back. Oh, he's already back. Right, so let's have you freshen up then. You can clean up the plate first. You can really see Ray being a gym rat <laughs> if I, or when I uh, renovate the gym in town. It's gonna want to be there a lot for sure. Okay, so we have Dominic waking up now. Not that hungry, so I think you can just have a uh, juice. Looks like Ray is already hungry again, so maybe um, you can also have a juice. Great, and then he can have a shower instead. His carpool is going to arrive at 12. Oh yeah, I wanted to check also what the other um, career options he has. So let's see. I think they might have changed now since Ray looked, but um, yeah, let's see. Right, maybe do you want to see who else is on here? Have a few people that you don't know yet. Oh yeah, Remington you already know though. Oh, now <laughs> I asked both of them to... Use the computer. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I can, can ignore this for Dominic. Okay, do we have uh, Renaud here? I have Lashon Cameron here. Oh. <laughs> we do have Renaud here. He's lying down and <laughs> chatting with Ren. <laughs> nice. Well, maybe um, maybe you can go and hang out with them. Looks like they're having a good time up here. You're missing out. Oh, he's really unattractive, sir. <laughs> I see. Looks like Renaud is working in the medical field. Do you even have a room to hang out? Or oh, you're gonna take his place? <laughs> Sure. I think you might have shut him in now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this didn't go very well. Oh, okay. Ren is apparently attracted to, to Dominic. I see. Let's just chat the normal way then. Sorry for completely taking over the conversation here. <laughs> oh no. It's not starting out well. Try again. And you were getting along so well yesterday. Oh no. Okay, no, nope. I think that I'm gonna unlock this again. <laughs> Let's just not. <laughs> yeah. Things aren't really going as smoothly today, it appears. Let's see if Ren is more um, friendly today. He needs to leave for work soon anyway, so. <clears throat> Actually, yeah, they do get along better today. Yeah, I mean, uh, the jokes are working at least. That's nice. 
eh, I think head back down. You're soon gonna be for work. And looks like uh, Ray is here playing around with the um, remote control car. Not necessarily want you to do that. I think actually you can take a nap because you are tired from your jogging around. I think it's time to chat briefly. Meet some more people. Yeah, so he's leaving. I'm just wondering what his job outfit looks like now. Is it better? No, it's the same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind then. Okay, for some reason he still wants to play with the car. But uh, drink some coffee instead. Apparently he didn't want to nap anymore. So we have a chance card here. A big test is coming up and Nolan thinks up a brilliant plan. Use an RC helicopter to land on the teacher's desk during a break and use a small camera to film the test beforehand. It won't give him any answers and it's a lot of work, but it could be that Nolan, what Nolan needs to ace the test. Then again, it could also be construed as cheating. What should Nolan do? I think he could enjoy it just out of the challenge. Yeah, let's 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 try it out. Let's sneak a look. A little look can't hurt, right? Nolan puts his plan into action and skillfully uses his helicopter to sneak a quick peek at the test beforehand. Unfortunately, it turns out to be the wrong test. Nolan bombs the actual test and loses enthusiasm for tinkering. But I think that he was actually pleased with that because it wasn't really the test results he was after, though. <laughs> he actually managed to skillfully fly his helicopter and do what he wanted. So I think that's what he, <laughs> what he was after. So I'm thinking about Ray here and uh, I feel like he, he should want to work on his body in some way. Um, doesn't have that much options right now. But I could turn on the music here and see if maybe he can do a, a workout. Oh, he can't work out at all with that one. Oh, he can. Okay, good. Uh, or so I thought. That's weird. He was there just a moment ago. Now there it is again. Is it because his fun is too full? If I bring that down, will it work? Yeah. That was it. <laughs> okay. All right. You're having too much fun, dude. Right. And Nolan's uh, carpool is arriving soon as well. He could try to call up Ash and um, try to befriend him if he wants a promotion. And now he also brought home a new person, Haley Dalton, from work. But I think he's going to just say goodbye to her. He is attractive, sir, though. So that's interesting. He doesn't have a social need, though, so I'm just going to bump that down so he can chat for with Ash for a bit. Just call him up and see. Might not be enough time to befriend him, but... Oh, yeah. Especially not if they're not getting along, so... <laughs> oh. They agreed on that they hate culture, so... <laughs> Looks like they found a common interest in hating something. <laughs> oh, they're back to talking about weather. Yeah, that always works. <laughs> Another chance card. It's lunchtime for Dominic and he decides to relax by playing a quick video game while eating lunch. His boss walks by, sees the game and asks about it. Should Dominic show what he's playing or attempt to hide the game quickly? No, he would definitely show it. Dominic shows his boss the game and explains some of the reasons why he likes it. His boss is interested and tells him to send him some information about the game. Dominic gains some games enthusiasm. Nice. I think that the negative result of that is like a demotion, so... <laughs> Lucky! <laughs> All right, so they did become friends. And, oh, okay, so Dominic has been promoted again. Was that the result of the chance card? Because I don't think he had enough skills. 
Oh, okay. But <laughs> I guess his boss liked the game so much he promoted him then. Wow, okay. So now he's like, yeah, I think he might have to keep this uh, career now because <laughs> he's doing so well. Uh, he's a rookie field agent. This is it. The national stage. The pros. You made it. As a rookie field agent, you're out there with the best of the best, working for the SCIA on operations you can't even tell your grandma about. Stay with your mentor, learn quickly, and it won't be too hard to work your way up the SCIA ladder. Well, that's impressive. Yeah, so they have quite a bit of money here. It looks like there's a girl here that you might want to greet. Nolan... Uh, should hang up. They actually made friends, but uh, yeah, not sure if that's gonna stay until um, he gets back from work. But yeah. So what do you think about her? Nothing. Oh, he's still working out. <laughs> I think that's uh, that's good enough for now. You can um, jump in the shower. Uh, okay then. Well. Just say goodbye to her again then. Okay, and yeah. Well, you're back early again. <laughs> With a promotion again. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a bit stunned, to be honest. I'm just going to send him to play. <laughs> and then, let's see, can you chat with someone? No, no, no one interesting, I think, so... Yeah. I mean, it looks like Ray might be really sloppy because there's a lot of um, water splashing around with, when he's taking a shower. Yeah, he's really sloppy. <laughs> he's the most sloppy of them, actually. Yeah, so let's see if he, um, if he turns this music off. And then maybe he can actually have a nap this time. Now he's plenty tired. Oh, we have Trista online. Let's uh, chat with her. He's actually pretty lazy, so I don't think that he would um, work out or anything like that. He might follow his brother on a jogging round, but um, yeah, other than that, I don't think so. <laughs> He is a bit into games, though. He might uh, enjoy going out and playing pool or something, or bowling. That might suit him. He's very playful as well, so... I mean, speaking of that, he can play a game, I suppose. Might be fitting for him. He's actually also gonna uh, gain logic skill doing that. Because, uh, as usual, because of a mod that I have. <laughs> One of Simler's one, I'm pretty sure. He's built up some energy. I think he can maybe uh, watch some sports on TV. I think maybe this is a good day to, um, to call for pizza. Oh, look at this. This is broken. He has quite a good mechanical skill. But no, I think I'm gonna let the landlord take care of that. So I'm gonna go call landlord request repair. Then uh, Dominic can call for a pizza. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, are you starting on something? No! I didn't want you to do that. <laughs> He's just called for a pizza. Clean that up. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> okay. Um, is Trista still online? Yeah. And also Lakshmi, actually. You can go ahead and turn off the TV. I think the pizza should be here any moment. Oh yeah, and I think that they also need to pay the bills. So let's see how, how bad it is. can go ahead and accept the delivery. Nice, and how bad is it? 
Okay, it's actually just 494. Not bad at all. Can pay that later. And Ray, there's pizza that you probably want. Okay, so he's met Trista and Lakshmi now. Yeah, and Nolan is returning from from work. Use the bathroom and then um, watch TV, I think. Um, yeah, you can have another slice as well. Ah, oh, he can have the final need benefit now. Good. He really needs it because his energy is going down a lot. So Actually, I think that uh, you can grab some pizza. While it's still hot, and then you can watch TV after instead. No, don't play with the remote controlled car. <laughs> You're getting obsessed with that one. You can go play your bass instead. Yeah, so they're sitting down watching the news together. <laughs> Very domestic. It's interesting for a knowledge sim, he uh, hasn't really rolled a lot of um, gain skill point mods. It's pretty unusual, I think. Nope. I know you really want to play with the remote controlled car, but maybe you can um, study some cooking or something. Okay, so his fun is uh, built up a bit now so you can turn that off and do his homework and Dominic is just jazzing it out in here I mean uh, things are going surprisingly well for him and I don't really know what to make of it but uh, yeah it's good and he's uh, actually acing the chance cards without even having this benefit so <laughs> it's it's interesting I think I'm gonna prioritize the life of luxury so that he gets some vacation days. And he actually also can get one. So same thing for him then. I feel like Dominic is someone who has like unconventional ways of solving things. But he is very lucky. So <laughs> it just does well anyway. Like maybe he has a lot of like, he's charismatic or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, interesting. I mean, Ray is the elder one who's lived longer and should be more established, but he's actually not doing even half as well as his brother is. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how it is sometimes as well. Are you still friends with Ash? No, no, you're not. And you weren't promoted either, right? No. So let's see, is Lakshmi still... Available. Yeah, she is Trista and uh, also Lindsay as well. So why not meet them too? So yeah, he really needs to get to bed. He's exhausted. <laughs> so I'm just gonna send him in. Yes, yeah, so I think he's going to have to stop playing the bass so that he doesn't disturb the <laughs> neighbors. can go ahead and have a bath. And then it's just going to go to bed. Now finishing up for Ray as well here. All right. That was the two days for... Um, the Gray family, very interesting. I feel like they have um, pretty strong characters, <laughs> all of them. Um, it's an interesting unit with uh, brothers like this. But yeah, I feel like they are um, getting along really well with all their differences. I feel like they have uh, found their roles <laughs> in the household, if that makes sense. And uh, yeah, I think that this family is one that does not look forward to having the youngest leave for university. So we're going to see how things turn out. I think that uh, Ray is probably looking for a partner, like a long, 
period per partner, possibly wife. Whereas Dominic is probably just wanting to meet people and uh, make friends and have fun, you know. <laughs> so pretty different outlooks on their future like that. But we're going to have to see how things go for them. They're really off to a great start, so <laughs> things can just go downhill from here. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to see. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this episode, hanging out with me, and um, yeah, I hope to see you for the next family. Take care. Bye.